Whenever a new Android OS version is announced, it develops curiosity and hope among smartphone users. Curiosity because they want to see something new. Hopes are high because they are bored of their current OS version and they are excited to get something new, different and better. Google released the latest Android version 12 in October and it was most anticipated and big update in years. Actually, it's true, it was completely revamped and it was definitely better. But there's a catch here. You can bring something new, but it shouldn't compromise with what was already good. Yes, I'm talking about the battery, the lifeline and the food for the phone to survive. The moment Android users upgraded to the newer version, battery drainage issues went off the charts. And the most frustrating thing about this was that Google removed a very essential feature in Android 12, which made them the suspect that they always knew about the impact of Android 12 on the battery performance. Welcome to the way I see things. Today we are just going to talk about battery performance in Android 12. Some tests that I've performed over the last few weeks. So stay tuned as this video is all about you are actually looking for. There's a bit of good news and also I'll tell you why we have battery drainage issues on Android 12 and what is causing this. There are a lot of unanswered questions and I'll answer them all today. So let's get into action. The simple way of viewing the screen time after the last full charge of the phone is no longer available in Android 12. You can now find screen time in apps and battery settings both. In battery settings, the screen time is calculated for the last 24 hours and which doesn't make much sense. But to determine the actual screen time, we can use the one in app settings. Screen time here resets every day at 12 am. Therefore we charged our phone to 100% before 12 and started using the phone post that. This gives you a full day, at least 24 hours to determine the screen time. After usage of different apps and features, we recorded the screen time varying between 3.5 hours to 4.5 hours. Based on the various style of personal usage, the screen time will differ, but more or less it will be within this range. We will compare and conclude this in the end, so stay tuned. A very simple answer to this question is yes, there are battery drainage issues after Android 12. We can divide this into two categories when you are using the phone and when the phone is idle. In both these scenarios, the battery is draining a lot faster when compared to Android 11. After the full charge, the moment you will start using your phone, the battery percentage will start falling and when compared to Android 11, it was staying for a long time between 95 to 100%. Within 20-30 minutes, you will lose 10 to 15% of your battery. And in the case where the phone is idle, when compared to Android 11, it is bad. As an idle state, my Pixel 4 used to stretch to 2 days and now it is hardly lasting for a day. Every 10 minutes your battery percentage goes down by 1 or 2 percent, which is frustrating. I am being very honest, this issue exists in all the Pixel phones, but the impact is higher on the phones with smaller batteries. The phones with bigger batteries can still survive, but the battery performance is poor when compared to Android 11. My advice to all Pixel users with smaller batteries is to wait for the resolution of this issue from Google if you don't want to kill your battery. Results are more or less the same after the December update. We were very hopeful that this update should resolve the battery related issues and improve the battery performance but there was a slight improvement in battery performance but it is insignificant. But screen time is accurate now and issue got fixed after December update. Chat forums and Google support chats were full of suggestions and complaints on battery issues after Android 12 upgrade. There was no official comment or acknowledgement of this issue by Google, but there was one solution provided by Google support to factory reset your phone, but should you do it? Users were skeptical about this solution as they wanted their battery issues to be fixed, but not on the cost of resetting their phones. On the other hand, we were not sure whether this will fix the problem or not. Don't worry, as I've already done that and honestly, there was no improvement in battery performance. But all the apps were uninstalled and later after resetting I have installed a few apps just to make sure that any of my previous apps were causing this issue. Now, there's a piece of good news, but don't keep your hopes too high. So, we have got the January patch and after a week of observation, I have found that the battery performance is slightly better than before. Not in all the scenarios, but your battery will stay fine when your phone is idle and it's not draining like before. It is going down 30 to 40% slower than before. 
Not a big relief, but at least we have got something. So, the biggest question running in every Android user's mind is why there are battery issues after their phone is updated to Android 12. Let's look at this from a different angle, as not just this, but whenever any phone is updated to a newer OS version in iOS or Android, it reduces the battery performance. We think that the smartphone companies want us to buy their newer models and they are degrading the performance of their older phones. So, every user has this code in mind. Do you really think this code is somewhere there in OS programming? Well, there is no denying these companies want the users to buy their newer models. But on the other hand, if we think logically, these companies want to improve their hardware and software every year and they are moving forward in terms of technology and introducing new features and this is the core model of the smartphone industry. Whenever they are launching a new model, they perform rigorous testing on existing OS versions and the phone's performance is tweaked and optimized accordingly. They keep in mind the current hardware of the phone. It's not that they forget about the older models, but the hardware of the older models can't be changed. And this is where sometimes the phones lag and lose battery faster. The smart move will be that hold your nerves and update your phone to the newer version of any OS after a month or so. By this time, you'll know about all the issues and also if the company is fixing it or not. To conclude this, Android 12 screen time is reduced by 1 to 1.5 hours. Not just this, but it has impacted the longevity also. As with minimum usage, battery in Android 12 was lasting up to 40 hours. Now it is hardly lasting for a working day. So, let's hope that we get more updates and fixes for Android 12 from Google. I hope I have answered all the important questions. You can also drop your question in the comments. I'll be back with some battery saving tips in my future videos. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.